Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Again, as always, I'm constantly being attacked and put down and made out to be something that I'm not. Because people take uh, what I say and make more out of it than what I'm actually saying. In a video I did uh, here a while back called uh, showing some of the food we bought from the food pantry back on uh, May the 18th. This uh, woman from Thailand I made some comments. She was trying to tell uh, some other person that had uh, made comments, a big comment on uh, my uh, ministry Facebook site. And basically, she uh, was telling him to look at this video. Gave him the link to the video. And then she goes on to try to say that I was asking for a thousand asking people for a thousand dollars. I was talking about first off I was talking about my father and his uh Getting a new uh, truck, getting, being able to get a loan at 80 years old for a new truck. And how when I ask for loans or help from people, I'm always told no. That basically you got yourself into it, you got to get yourself out. Well, that's easier said than done. See, at the time, this was in May, and I was able to get another um, refinancing of my vehicle until uh, July or August. <clears throat> well, long story short, I was able to, the first part of July, was able to get refinancing and borrow some more money to pay off the high interest loans that we were under. That is what I was talking about. I needed a thousand dollars to pay off those high interest loans that I had to take out in order one fix my vehicle to get it back on the road and two to uh, rent vehicles when my vehicle was broke down people say well you you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that well you know I am tired of people telling me what I should and should not do. I am 50 years old. I know what I should and shouldn't be doing. It's them that should wake up before it's too late. Because God says, God, the one true God, not an idol. Not an idol or an idol worshiper should be telling anybody what to do and how to do it. Because my God, the one true God, the living God, says in His Word, for in Ephesians 5, 5, for this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. 
An idolat an idolater is somebody who worships idols as gods. And there's people out there that worship idols as gods. And yet they, they think I being a Christian should uh, understand them and and uh, accept them no my word my god's word says no that's why in the beginning when Joshua was commanded to go in to all these cities and kill everyone in the cities and only take uh, the spoils because they were all idol worshippers. They worshipped false gods. And God is a jealous God. That's right. The one true God, the God that created everything, is a jealous God. And He doesn't want nobody worshipping anything or anyone but Him. And when people come along... and start harassing that worship idols that think they know better and yet in my other video I mentioned where she said that she has a doctorate degree in uh, government and politics well that's because I found out that she's some type of an ambassador to uh, Thailand she said that this is where she lived for 13 years in the palace she lived in the palace for 13 years that was her home for 13 years and then uh, like I said, she worships idols. This is the uh, princess of Thailand. She's in a wheelchair. And that's another thing too. This woman thinks that people like me who are who have spina bifida occulta that are able to walk but walk with pain every day, pain and discomfort every day, should be in a wheelchair. Because in her mind, a disabled person is basically somebody who cannot walk. Or needs some kind of a, 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 you know, assistance to walk. Well, that's far from the truth. Because, uh, you know, your truth is one thing. My truth is something else. But, my truth comes from the Father. God Almighty. He made me the way He made me. So that I can be able to do what I need to do. Another thing too, this is uh, another... Uh, form of how she has dressed. She uh, dresses like royalty, even though she said she's not royalty. Of course, uh, I uh, had read where she's a, an ambassador, and this is also. I mean, there's a there's, there's a lot of nice uh, pictures that uh, I've seen of her. This is the latest picture. She has a lot of nice clothing. But yet she can find the time to tear me down. I tried to explain to her that uh, uh, I was, as I was talking, I'd stopped. I was only basically making a comment. I was not asking for help. Yet in the, at first I was saying there are some good Christians out there that should be able to help me. And what I was referring to was helping me with 
my home repairs. There's got to be some good Christian out there that knows how to uh, do home repairs and could possibly come and help me with my home repairs I need done. Of course, I, I didn't uh, say that. I was just rambling on about mostly the food. That was another thing, too, the food. I was also more or less saying, too, that there should be some other good Christians out there that could help me with uh, food that I need. But now here's the thing. Here is here is the mindset of this woman. Let me find it here again. I'm looking for it. Okay, here it is. Here she says here that I need to spend time in North Korea. No, I'm not going to go to North Korea because let me tell you something. North Korea will put me in prison. Because that's what they do to Christians. They put them in prison. Where, and then she goes on, where a large number of individuals exist on eating bugs and grants, grains of rice, excuse me. Grains of rice. Bugs and grains of rice. Hey, I'm a diabetic, okay? Diabetic, diabetic, diabetic. I have to have protein in my diet throughout the day. And granted, there are some bugs that are high in uh, protein, but rice isn't. Rice is not high in protein. But she basically would rather have me killed off or just die off so she doesn't have to watch my videos. Well, don't watch my videos if you don't like anything I have to say. So this is what gets me so upset is that people have come along, constantly come along, and try to tell me what I should and should not eat. Here, let me play this real quick and here, here in my video from uh, what she was uh, trying to say that I was, where I was asking people for a thousand dollars. Well, long story short, you know, as the saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished, and the good people always get screwed. And that's what's always happening to me, getting screwed and tattooed, as the saying goes. Well, you know, I need help. I know there's some good Christian out there that can help me out somewhere. As I stop, I need a thousand dollars to get out from under all these loans. Then I won't have five hundred dollars a month coming up for uh, loan payments. Use that towards uh, groceries. And that's all I was talking about. But she would rather you to believe that I was asking people for a thousand dollars. 
like I like I am uh, just a, a, a money hungry person that just wants to ask people for money all the time I'm also asking for help someone to come and help me with my home fix my home I got several uh, repairs that need, need to be done I can't do it on my own I've done a video showing people what is wrong with me oh yeah that's something else uh, she had made a, a comment about let me get there again here she had said um, where was that right here uh, she um, down here she says um, uh, you have quite a collection of pathetic excuses that lack both honesty and credibility So the x-rays, the x-ray reports, the MRI reports are not credible? I guess in her mind they're not credible. What am I supposed to do? Videotape my doctor? Video go to the paint when I go to my doctor later this, this month? Videotape him telling you people what is wrong with me? And why I have to do what I gotta do, and go to, when I go to the pain clinic next month to videotape the uh, nurse practitioner. Would that be credible enough for you? But you know what? They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna let me videotape them unless I ask them, and and they probably will say no. If the reports are not good enough for you, then I guess nothing will be good enough for you. And yeah, Renee's sleeping in the chair. I know I know there's this guy out there on my YouTube that will comment. You better put a CPAP machine on her so she's dying. Well, she was in bed. She had a CPAP machine on. And then she decided to get up because we got somebody coming here today from uh, Renee's uh, insurance care source to uh, check on her. Renee got up and now she's sleeping in her chair. And no, we don't have a CPAP in the living room. Another thing too that uh, she had made comments on too was, uh, I mean, she make every time I, I, seems like every time I post something, either in my ministry site or or YouTube, she's always making some kind of a negative comment. But I have now have been having some good comments from some people. Hello. Such as uh, this uh, Reverend Dr. Uh, Donald. Uh, how did he say pronounce that? Macker. Mm, well, I ain't gonna butcher his last name. I'm not gonna say his last name. But here's one here. He uh, has said, uh, you know, God bless me. And then let me go to uh, another video. 
Because he had made a, a comment, uh... Hello. Right here. See, he says right here. I know what you're going through. I also have spina bifida occulta and learning disability. So, uh, let me click on his uh, YouTube. See, he did a video also. So, I bet, you know, anything, you'll probably go to his uh, video and say, uh, something nasty about his video. And you probably go to his YouTube, I mean, not, excuse me, YouTube, but, uh, Facebook site and, and start putting him down also. And I'm tired of people putting disabled people down, people with learning disabilities down, people with, uh, that, that have to struggle, constantly struggle. Because of the fact, one thing isn't just a struggle, it's a fire. It's a fire that we are going through to refine us. It is God's fire to refine us, to make us into what He wants us to be. Not going off to some palace and living in some palace for uh, several years and then going to a, a college and getting a, a degree and, and uh, being what somebody else wants you to be. So you can have the a uh, rich and pristine life. God's work is not pristine and is not a bed of roses. And you know what? I do have a palace coming. It is not here, right here, right now, but it is coming. My palace and everyone else that uh, is born again whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, has a palace coming. We have a mansion coming. See, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom that is coming, the kingdom that I will be joint heirs with, is coming down from the clouds, coming down from uh, the third heaven. So I don't have to pray to no statue for uh, a good life. My better life is coming. There will I the <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> God's word says that we will have struggles on earth. But more and more when that time comes, approaches, when, when Jesus' time approaches where he's going to return, our struggles is going to get worse. We are going to be hated for his name's sake. But his word says, Jesus said, the one who endures to the end will be saved. Not the beginning, the end. And Jesus said, immediately after the tribulation of these, of these days is when he returns. He never said immediately before the tribulation of these days. He said immediately after. The one who endures to the end and and immediately after is when he returns. 
What troubles? Well, the, the troubles he talked about in Matthew 24. Earthquakes and many places and pestilences. The list goes on. Wars and rumors of wars. People, it's not going to get any better. And anybody that preaches that uh, we're going to be out of here before anything happens is lying to you. I'm sorry. All you ba a lot of you Baptist preachers uh, that are preaching uh, that we're going to be out of here before anything happens, that all Christians are going to be raptured. Yeah, right. Not all Christians are going to be raptured. Get it straight. The word says the elect. That's basically a chosen few. Not every single Christian. Because not every single Christian's name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Not every Christian is born again. As Jesus said before my time goes on this, take heed that no one deceive you. For many will come in my name saying, I am Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Many will uh, deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended. Well, that's what's happening right now. Many are offended of Christians because they want to come out and say they're gay and lesbian. And we speak up against that, then they're offended. We're little, we will betray one another and will hate one another. Many false prophets or false preachers will rise up and deceive many, like a lot of you Baptist preachers that are preaching we're going to be out of here before anything happens. And because of lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Now this, basically right through here, is the beginning of sorrows. Then the great tribulation will happen. And when does the great tribulation start? When the Antichrist comes in his full power. And we will see that happen just before the rapture. So get it straight. Start preaching the truth. We will see the Antichrist coming in his full power before we are raptured away. Not after we're raptured away, before we're raptured away. Well, my time's just about gone, so I'm going to say God bless you. Have a blessed day.